Glennon said, oh, he wanted this research to be continued. But then modern administration say, John Glenn, he's a very old guy. He can hardly understand what is going on. It's their mistake. He understands perfectly what is going on. Um, yes, yeah, so um, I was just wondering a bit about Bill um, Eric Lathwaite's uh, mass transfer and his linear motor, how that, um, so, like, especially his gyroscopes and the mass transfer, how that relates to, um, how that kind of helped your, you and that, how that kind of uh, related to your... Uh, as I already mentioned, uh, uh, he was working uh, with uh, absolute motion that is the uh, fast rotation of the massive body around its own axis and it's possible uh, also to use the rotation uh, around two axes. Mm. So uh, it's a good approach uh, and uh, when he demonstrated his uh, findings uh, at uh, London uh, uh, Imperial College where he worked, it was a sensation and everybody could see how he was uh, holding a very heavy uh, gyroscope on his finger and uh, the gyroscope was about 25 kilos and he was holding it uh, on his finger and he was not a very strong man but quite a usual professor and uh, it's a measurable effect which can be repeated which can be used uh, but unfortunately I think two months after he demonstrated uh, this effect, he was fired from this uh, prestigious university and they continue their own line. Uh, Professor Lathwaite uh, went to uh, the United States but, uh, and he organized a nice research there, but unfortunately he got ill and soon after that uh, he passed away. So, uh, but that's one more uh, proof that how difficult it is to work in this area. Because modern science is like whole inquisition. That's why I'm a bit afraid. Um, my last one myself, I know I keep on having a last one. Mm -hmm. uh, just again for the layman, I was wondering if you could uh, describe the term zero point. Uh, zero point energy. Or, well, it's, uh, uh, let's say it in simple words. Uh, we deal with normal bodies. Uh, body can be solid, gas, liquid, and plasma. But we also deal uh, with subatomic particles which have uh, the size of 40 uh, orders of magnitude smaller than the electron. And there are various kinds of these uh, particles. They have their own laws of energy, of mechanical motion, of uh, superfluidity of pressure and of uh, let's say coherence because uh, we can speak about um, scalar fields we can speak about coherent vacuum uh, it's becoming a bit complicated I understand but we can deal with these uh, subatomic particles they form the ether or the fundamental particles uh, and the whole universe is made of these particles so it's possible to extract energy from this sea, from this ocean of particles. It's possible uh, to um, navigate inside uh, uh, this media. It's possible uh, to create wormholes. It's possible to travel with a speed uh, much more than the speed of light. Because the laws which govern these uh, subatomic particles are different. We are, now, we are now only approaching the stage where we can understand or analyze these laws. They are still not known to us. But nothing stops us from studying them. And gravity research should be one of the first in this field because it's important for our civilization, important for our future. Well, anyway, it's good to have a flying saucer instead of the car just parked near your balcony. It's and it should be silver, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got a question here. Um, 
Okay. Um, is there anything, <clears throat> okay. Man, a long time ago, looked to the sky and he saw a bird flying and he said, I'd like to be able to do that. So he had a model. He had something to build or to idealize, to dream about, to want to fly. Um, is there anything that you know about on the planet besides the, the uh, disc that could demonstrate um, anti-gravity, well, we don't want to say anti-gravity. We want to say gravity manipulation. Uh, there are different places on Earth uh, where uh, we have uh, gravity anomalies. There are some places in, in the United States. Uh, uh, there are some places in Britain. There are some places in other countries. Sometimes they are situated uh, on the land, sometimes on the sea surface. And uh, from time to time these areas become active. Well, we know about Bermuda Triangle, uh, lots of science fiction uh, things written about these areas, but we also know about different crashes of uh, airplanes and uh, uh, they happen in different parts of the world. So there are some theories which uh, prove that uh, some um, parts of our globe have, um, uh, anom um, have anomalies in um, gravity properties, in the properties of magnetic fields, electric fields, and uh, when the Earth is rotating around itself and around uh, the Sun, uh, these areas become active in a certain order. And then we have very unusual effects because uh, if we turn to the statistics of air crashes, sometimes when the plane, uh, plane crashes, it travels about uh, half a kilometer or one kilometer, about a mile on the surface, which is understandable. But sometimes the plane crashes and it gives the exact print on the land. And it can be explained only by anomalies in the gravity field. And the Earth still contains a lot of puzzles which we do not know, but which should be studied. So this is if we refer to nature, but also we live in the artificial world and we can, we have artificial means and we have even now enough knowledge to make experiments in this field. And these experiments are needed because each time I see the shuttle going to space, I understand that is a very big bomb going to space and a very big risk for the astronauts. That's why applying new propulsion systems and the systems which allow to operate with gravity forces, we can make those trips much safer, much uh, easier and uh, uh, less expensive than the existing programs. Also, if we deal with uh, energy production. These new methods will allow us to extract energy from different sources and to stop that uh, the use of oil, which in my understanding should be used not for the, uh, for the vehicles, but only for chemistry, uh, new plastic materials or something of this kind.